what's up you guys I hope you're doing really good today in this video I'll be going over everything you need to know about yield farming first we will go over what is yield farming how it works five yield farming protocols to know about what started the yield farming boom how are the returns calculated and some final thoughts so let's tackle up the first question what is yield farming Yield farming is a means of earning interest on your cryptocurrency, similar to how you would earn interest on any money in your savings account. And similarly to depositing money in the bank, yield farming involves locking up your currency called staking for a period of time in exchange for interest or other rewards, such as more cryptocurrency. Daniel R. Hill said that when traditional loans are made through banks, the amount lent out is paid back with interest. With yield farming, the concept is kind of the same. Cryptocurrency that would normally just be sitting in an account is instead lent out in order to generate returns. Since yield farming began in 2020, yield farmers have earned returns in the form of annual percentage yields that can reach triple digits. But this potential return comes at a high risk, with the protocols and coins earned subject to extreme volatility and rug pulls wherein developers abandon a project and make up with investors' funds. So at its core, yield farming is a process that allows cryptocurrency holders to earn rewards on their holdings. With yield farming, an investor deposits units of a cryptocurrency into a lending protocol to earn interest from trading fees. Yield farming uses idle cryptos that would have otherwise been wasted away in an exchange or hot wallet to provide liquidity in DeFi protocols like Uniswap in exchange for returns. So how does it work? Also known as liquidity farming, yield farming works by first allowing an investor to stake their coins by depositing them into a lending protocol through a decentralized app or dApp. Other investors can then borrow the coins through the dApp to use for speculation, where they try to profit off of sharp things they anticipate in the coin's market price. Yield farming is simply a rewards program for earlier adopters. This is something that Jay, who is the VP of marketing at Ava Labs, said. Blockchain-based apps offer incentives for users to provide liquidity by locking up their coins in a process called staking. Staking occurs when centralized crypto platforms take customers' deposits and lend them out to those seeking credit. Creditors pay interest and depositors receive a certain proportion of that and then the bank takes the rest. This lending is usually facilitated through smart contracts, which are essentially just a piece of code running on a blockchain functioning as a liquidity pool. This is something that Brian said, who is the former investment banker and CEO of financial career platform breaking into Wall Street. Users who are yield farming, also known as liquidity providers, lend their funds by adding them to a smart contract. Investors who lock up their coins on the yield farming protocol can earn interest and often more cryptocurrency coins. The real boon to the deal. If the price of those additional coins appreciates, the investors' returns rise as well. This process provides the liquidity newly launched blockchain apps to need to sustain long-term growth. These apps can increase community participation and secure this liquidity by rewarding users with incentives like their own governance tokens, app transaction fees, and other funds. This person adds that you could compare yield farming to the early days of ride-sharing, Uber, Lyft, and other ride-sharing apps needed to bootstrap growth, so they provided incentives for early users who referred other users onto the platform. Another incentive for staking is to accumulate enough shares of the cryptocurrency to force a hard fork where a major infrastructural change is made to the design of the cryptocurrency. Hard forks enable the holders of crypto to force changes that would, at least in the opinion of the majority of the holders, improve the cryptocurrency going forward. In a way, hard forking gives crypto investors a power similar to what share voting does for stockholders. The same way shareholders can vote on key matters affecting the management or direction of the companies they invest in, cryptocurrency holders can use hard forks to push a cryptocurrency protocol in a certain direction. Staking coins to cause a hard fork allows crypto to take on this important characteristic of equity investments. If we take a look at 5 yield farming protocols to know about, yield farmers sometimes use DeFi platforms that offer various incentives for lending to optimize the return on their stake coins. Now here I'm going to name you 5 yield farming protocols to know about. 
The first one is AVE and this one is an open source liquidity protocol that lets users land and borrow crypto. Depositors earn interest on deposits in the form of AVE tokens, and interest can be earned based on the market borrowing demand. You can also act as a depositor and borrower by using your deposit coins as collateral. There is also Compound, and this one is an open source protocol built for developers that uses an algorithmic, autonomous interest rate protocol to determine the rate depositors earn on stake coins. Depositors also earn Comp tokens. There is also Curve Finance, a liquidity pool on Ethereum that uses a market-making algorithm to let users exchange stablecoins. Pools using stablecoins can be safer since their value is pegged to another medium of exchange. We have Uniswap, a decentralized exchange where liquidity providers must stake both sides of the pool in a 50-50 ratio. In exchange, you earn a portion of the transaction fees plus UNI governance tokens. And then we're going to have InstaD app. This one is designed for developers and allows users to build and manage their decentralized finance portfolio. And as of October 31st, more than $12 billion are locked on this InstaD app. Now, how do they calculate the yield farming returns? So, estimated yield returns are calculated on an annualized model. This shows the possible earnings for locking up your cryptos for a year. Some of the most common metrics include annual percentage yield and annual percentage rate. The primary difference between them is that APR doesn't consider compound interest, which involves plowing back your profits to increase your returns. Still, most calculation models are simply estimates. It is difficult to accurately calculate returns on yield farming because it is a dynamic market. A yield farming strategy could deliver high returns for a while, but farmers could always adopt in a mass leading to a drop in profitability. The market is quite volatile and risky for both borrowers and also lenders. If you're wondering what started the yield farming boom, a sudden strong interest in yield farming may be attributed to the launch of Comp Token. The governance token of the compound finance ecosystem, governance tokens grant governance rights to token holders, but how do you distribute these tokens if you want to make the network as decentralized as possible? A common way to kickstart a decentralized blockchain is by distributing those governance tokens algorithmically with liquidity incentives, and this attracts liquidity providers to form the new token by providing liquidity to the protocol. While it didn't invent yield farming, the comp launch gave this type of token distribution model a boost in popularity. Since then, other DeFi projects have come up with innovative schemes to attract liquidity to their ecosystem. Now, as for my final thoughts, yield farming gained much attention as one of the more lucrative and profitable forms of crypto investment. This attention led to the rise of DeFi yield farming platform development as industries strive to launch their yield farming protocol and benefit. The increased adoption of cryptocurrencies by users make yield farming the preferred investment choice to many. Every day we see tremendous growth in the DeFi, and this growth is thanks to the participation of enthusiastic investors and crypto asset holders. Yield farming in DeFi holds a promising future. It also provides a growing number of money-making practices for the short and long term. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.